Uh, and let me join in uh, thanking our host for this evening. Wonderful facility here at the Georgia Center for the Book, wonderful bookstore, which I love to come to when I'm here. And we are so excited to be in Atlanta. Now, Jimmy's talking some about the process of doing the encyc new Encyclopedia of Southern Culture. I want to talk more broadly about the, the time in which we live and the time of which this new Encyclopedia of Southern Culture has appeared. The title of my, my remarks is The 21st Century South what the New Encyclopedia of Southern Culture tells us about the burden of the South's future. Not the South's past, but the South's future. Now, uh, we want to leave some time for any comments or questions, so I promise not to go on too long. But that reminds me of one of the favorite things I got to do, which was when I was the director of the center, as Jimmy mentioned. One time, we decided to make B.B. King an honorary Southern Studies professor. Now, he was coming to the university to do a concert for Living Blues magazine, which our center publishes. He had donated many of his uh, papers and other things to our Blues Archive that is this, that our center sponsors at the University of Mississippi. Uh, and, and so he was, has a connection to us. He's a Mississippian from Indianola. So we had a nice certificate made up and, and the chancellor signed and he had a ceremony and we gave it to him. And uh, I think he was really touched that a university would acknowledge his important role. And so um, we had a press conference and, and he was answering questions. He went on a little too long with one answer and he caught himself and he said, I'm sorry, I went on, on a little too long, but then again, I am a professor. <laughs> well, I, I promise not to do that even though I am a professor. Now, in 1960, historian C. Van Woodward published a seminal volume of essays called The Burden of Southern History, exploring the Southern regional identity, arguing that the historical experience of the people of the South was the only basis for continuing regional distinctiveness. With the dramatic changes of the Civil Rights Movement only a few years away, Woodward seemed to be looking to the past to point the region toward a resource as it negotiated what he saw as coming social change writing in the 1960s. It was not only changes in racial relations, but changes in the economy that would challenge the South in the future. The symbol of innovation is inescapable, he wrote, identifying the bulldozer as the new Southern symbol of change in 1960. The roar and groan and dust of it greet one on the outskirts of every Southern city, Woodward wrote. The bulldozer revolution, he called it, demolishes the old to make way for the new. Looking back on it, Woodward was undoubtedly correct that the bulldozer revolution changed the South, but it seems a dated symbol now. In the 21st century, in an era where the major form of innovation is not a machine that roars and groans and dusts it up, but a computer, or to, or to be more 20